Hey everyone, I'm here with another LEGO Wicked review, and this is on Glinda and Alphida's uh, dormitory, of course. So, on the front of the box here, we have the LEGO Wicked logos, same border as the other sets of which, and picture of the set opened up with the pink and green and kind of bluish and purplish, like, mists behind them, and picture of the set all closed up. And then recommended ages eight and up. Set number seven five six eight three has seven hundred forty pieces. On the back side of it, have another opened up picture of the set. How it opens up and what's contained in the little container, and also the one of the alternate, and also the, uh, the mini dolls in the alternate outfits and scan it side. Yeah, scan inside for the QR code that's inside, but yeah, and that's about it there. And now on to the manual, of which on uh, rendering that they've, that they've been doing for quite some time. And also do you have also advertisement of the transition from plastic bags to paper bags and add for the builder app. And then on the back side of it. All the pieces that come with the set, of course. And then advertisement of Rebuild World. And then in movie shot from there. Or in movie pictures that there is. And then advertisement of all the of the sets that there are and Emerald City will be reviewing next and subscribe and look forward to that. And then the last building steps. <clears throat> so now on to the two mini dolls included. Like oh, which do you have the exclusive variants of both Glinda and Elfida? Which, which I see the uh, dress torso print, dress printing, so which done quite good for how they are, and the face printing or face prints and hair pieces, just the same that came in, that also comes in the other sets of which. So and obviously, so it's just the torso pieces that are the same, and obviously both of which wielding the same wand pieces from the Harry Potter theme. And then Alpha of which, which well, one problem that I have that there is is should be wearing glasses onto it since, and in the trailers he does have that. But maybe that could come in another set eventually. But yeah. And then he's of course holding the newer style book piece first introduced with Nexo Knights. And of course open that up and then have a tile piece that has some sort of. As, which have some printings for like a potion and such in there, but yeah. And then on the back sides of each of them, do you have a slight bit of back torso printing on both of them? Yeah. And also, a unique case with these two is also do you get both a hair hat combo piece for Alphida. Which also comes in the Emerald City set, of course. And also, do you have these uh, other alternate outfits, of which, uh, which, which also do have some good uh, torso printing and skirt and dress printings on both of them. And also, for Glindos, of which, some nice shoe printing to them. So, kind of an interesting case this is. But yeah. And that is about it with the meeting guys, of which. And so now on to the dormitory chest itself. Well, or as of now, the main chest of it. As you can see, quite nice interior exterior designs, of which quite a lot of paneling or just large tiles around it, and also a lot of jumpers that are in gold with heart pieces or the heart plates also in gold for that. And of course, on the front side of which does have the 
right, large G symbol, which, which is actually printed for that, but there's very few stickers in this set, of course. But like on the top part of which, one of which is this little uh, rose build for that, of which the build of which quite similar to that of the uh, botanical collection for that, well for that effect, and also on a pixel ball joint for that, and then very few pieces like including a curved slope, and also these little leaf pieces in trans green, which also came in a couple other sets of this theme. Which nice to see there, and then other side of which is this a uh, little green bottle that's also detachable, resting on two studs for that. And as you have a whole lot of these uh, one by two plates, but in trans green, and few pieces also in trans green, of which very nice and also good to use for mocking if you want to. And then also to add this little container of that, which is resting on about four studs in the back side of it. See with these large paneling pieces in pink, and also a few gold plates on top of which, and open top part of which, and do have a key part, or a little key, which is for the chest itself, which I'll show in a minute, and this which is where you can store the alternate outfits, or the alternate, alternate torsos and aspects of the mini balls in this set. And also the key as well. And also a little sticker with the G of Glinda on there as well. Right, so now how we open this is had that those the couple of plates on here which can like lift it up for that. And then there's a little technique a uh, pin piece in there you can stick the key into and open it up kind of like we saw on one or on a couple recent harry potter sets as well Let me think, yeah. Let me just open it right up like so and also has a quite unique interior to it if i zoom in on it I guess see plenty of it is kind of a bit of Glinda's for that. Like this center table of it. And also do have quite a few panel pieces that have like reflective stickers on them and also one of which that is kind of a little uh beer like sticker on it and but as for this center table of which it does have a couple of those little pop like pieces in the clear sparkly color kind of texture to it very nice and of course a little more of that going on and turn it around and then there's which a little a qr code on a tile piece which if you get this set in hand of which you'll know what that's about of course and also do have one of the newer style flower pieces on there and also on the lantern so that but in trans yellow Quite nice and also good for mocking. Then on this one side of which it does have a couple of little cylinders acting as like rounded boxes and also a brush piece from Friends and as far back as Belleville, of course. And on this one side of which is kind of Alpha's side of it, of which with the same lantern effect going on and also like wallpaper texture on a sticker and then and of course you have a little bed kind of build to it which you can like rest the minifit rest the doll minifit mini doll onto obviously oops and then you have and this bed is kind of removable since it's resting on a few jumper plates. And also have this little stand for a nightstand with the flower piece in uh, in uh, aqua color on the recent stem piece. And then have a few like curved plates acting for a carpet and then also a, a little a trans green cylinder and diamond piece on top obviously representing a bottle of something 
and then also do you have this little uh, wardrobe or something or a little dresser that has a quilt kind of piece to that and a flat stud that has that is like a little uh, pocket watch then and then on to the other side of it which is Glinda's And see almost the same stuff, but obviously they would you know, also a different style of bed with the curved plates represent used as like the like sides of the blanket part of the bed and also and of course the flower piece uh, probably acting as a little lamp on this nightstand for that and a couple of other little flower pieces on there. And of course, enough space to rest the Glinda Mini onto as well. And then also another uh, crate like part that has the G symbol on it. And, and of course, same lantern effect as well. And then these, and these little, this technique piece of which is obviously for the locking mechanism on it. But it's, is on there and then also rests on this technic bit there just to make the locking feature of it and how you close it up is just like that and then obviously close that up and locks it up Quickly, one more time. And then obviously this key part of which you can like put in and drop it in like so, not to be seen, to remain hidden of course. On to the final verdict. So overall, this is which a quite good set for how it is like. You get a few unique uh, recolors, of which especially for the bottle-like build, and also and also for the little case part for that, and also and also kind of and as for the mini dolls, which kind of unique to get a couple of like alternate outfits to pop and swap onto as well but aside from that but this also does work out as a good parts pack of darkish red and bright and also of tan and a uh, trans green and such and also the uh, flower pieces in trans yellow as well which can which are definitely workable with mocking if you wanted but yeah and then uh, what else and also, as for the price point of it, for I was being like 60, 70, I think 60 or at least 55 could have been about as fair. But also given, unlike how for the price, for the like piece count, and also for this being a new license theme to it, probably why. So I guess it probably comes with some extra things going on, but whatever. But yeah, but also nice to have a lot of like the flower plates in uh, gold as well but yeah and also as for this whole build of which kind of similar to that of the uh, Hogwarts moments and banner sets of Harry Potter but obviously to a larger extent to that and also those uh, case sets as well but yeah and also the Fantastic Beasts uh, case set as well so, and of course, nice to see that in a theme outside of those two, but yeah. And also, oh, what else? Not much, but now what I think maybe also could have included a uh, flying monkey mini doll figure for that, but maybe that, which could have worked out fairly, but maybe that would be a little much. But of course, that could come in another set eventually, but yeah. So this whole set as is, still quite good for how it is.
just like get plenty of nice things going on with it and yeah and so now if you're looking to get this set for your uh oz collection definitely pick it up and if you're looking to get this set for the uh, wicked uh theme collection then also definitely pick it up and that's about it with this video please like comment share and subscribe thank you for watching